that was fun. Right, guys, well, I'm still looking for a, uh, a uh, base camp, or a day camp, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to find a spot that is uh, level and has good coverage. I'm not sure I'll be able to find it. I might need to just pick a spot right now and call it good because I'm getting pretty tired. So Anyway, yeah. I'll bring you guys back once I made up my mind and uh, when I find a spot. Well, I found a spot finally, right in here. Um, pretty flat. We got some pretty good coverage from above. I don't see any dead branches hanging down. Um, I'm right next to a clearing. So yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Uh, if I needed to make a fire, there's plenty of dead wood around here. Uh, as you can see, there's a dead log right over there. Right, right there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to set up a little day camp right here and uh, uh, bring you guys back. So, stick with me. Guys, I just finished setting up my tarp. Um, it's a five by seven tarp made by Equinox, and uh, it's a pretty small tarp, but uh, it'll do for now. So here's the day camp. Uh, not too bad. I think I'll clear this area out a little bit more, but uh, it should be good now. Alright guys, well here's the inside of the, underneath the tarp anyway. Um, got it hooked up there. There's my pack and whatnot. And like I said, it's a pretty small tarp. I had to run that corner up to that dead tree over there just because there was a rock right where uh, I needed to put the, uh, the stake in. But uh, I just decided to run a piece of paracord from that corner 
corner to that stump over there. And it worked out pretty good. Get some airflow going. Yep, there it is. Like I said, it's five by seven, so it's pretty small. But uh, it'll do the job for today. So, yeah, here's my view from inside the, the underneath the tarp. Not too bad. Nice and quiet. Got this tree here. All right, guys. I want to show you what I kept my. Uh, I guess you could call it a shelter kit. Um, I kept my 5x7 tarp in here along with uh, some pieces of paracord here. And it clips on like this, or it clips together like that. Uh, this is actually a pouch for a, a bladder canteen. It was big, I think one quart. Uh, bladder canteens um, so yeah it worked out pretty good nice little case here Alice clips you can attach it to stuff and whatnot um, so yeah found this at a uh, thrift store for like two bucks or something so pretty good deal <sighs> got the uh, Pathfinder pack stove here the, uh, the stove stand right here goes on like that so I think I'll heat me up some hot chocolate all right guys I got the water going oops should take uh, five to ten minutes to uh, heat up so yeah. in the meantime I'm gonna snack on some other things here Some uh, cheese and some crackers. that sit for a little bit longer but yeah that only took like between five to ten minutes um, not too bad at all uh, it works pretty good the Pathfinder pack stove um, I wish the uh, stove itself would really snap in there and hold but it sort of just sits on the uh, the burner whatever you call it all right guys and the way to put out this uh, stove this Pathfinder pack stove just take the lid and snuff out the flame like that you get the you know it's pretty self-explanatory then uh, just let it cool down in the meantime drink some hot cocoa Alright guys, I uh, cleaned up camp, put the, you know, all the stuff that I moved over here, I spread it back out a little bit, and moved the sticks around, spread it out, made it look like I was never here. So, uh, it's time to head that way, uh, towards the parking lot.
Alright guys, I'm almost to the parking lot now, so I thought I'd just take this time to uh, thank you all for watching and uh, subscribing. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.